We just made an awesome trade with CT Relic Digger. Hey guys, CFA back with you. So the other day we did a live stream and CT Relic Digger was involved and he saw that I was selling shirts and he asked if I would be willing to make a trade and you know what I said? Heck yeah, I love making trades. So I sent him off a shirt and matter of fact, I'll show you him opening that up. He sent a little clip of that. All right. Here he is. You can see him pulling the package from the mailbox, and there's what we sent him. Shirt. We also sent him a pocket magnifier and our business card. While we're watching him do that, I'll read you the note he sent. It says, Chad, I hope you enjoy. You have an awesome channel. Keep up the good work. I know these are going to a great home. C.T. Relic Digger. And there he is, sporting the CFA shirt. Looking sharp there, buddy. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what he sent. Check out what Josh sent us. CT Relic Digger. What a package, bro. Look at this. I'm going to start right here with these arrowheads. Found in Uncasville, Connecticut. Uncasville. These things are rad. This is just great. Look at that. See, the ones I got before from uh, Jonesy are quite a bit bigger than these, actually. But they still look similar, you know. I mean, different parts of the country, northeast compared to the south. But uh, it just amazes me that people find these. I, I really wish I'd find one someday. Look at that. Those are just so cool. Along with it, look at this. He sent... 10 Indian Head Pennies and 10 Mercury Dimes, and there's the years. And these are just outstanding. A lot of them are really good shape. I'll run you across here real quick. Down here, look at the shine on these suckers. It's just amazing. So I went ahead and pulled out my books so we could see which ones we can fit in here. I'm pretty scarce on both these. See my Indian, I have a lot of Indian heads, but there are a lot of the same ones. So we're going to take a look here. He sent us a 65. Oh yeah, we need that one. It's going to go there. He sent us an 81. Right here. Yep, we need that one. We got a 95. I think the rest of these we're going to have. Yeah, 95, so. Yeah. 1900, 1901. Nope, we need the 09. We need the 09. So three of them for our book, Josh. Three of them. That is awesome. All right. Set that aside for a second. Now let's check out the Mercs. Now I know... We're probably going to need all of these because my Merc book is very pathetic. <laughs> I actually have a few other Mercs, but they're just not in the book. Not yet, anyway. The one, only one we actually have in our book is the 1943. Plain. So, we know the 24. Oh, I'm going to have to get a closer look. I think this... Uh, I'm going to have to get the microscope out. There's definitely a mint mark on this, though. I just can't read it. So it's going to go in the book. Well, all these are going to go in the book, unless one's a 40. Well, one's a 43, which we have. That's the plane. Let's see if this is the plane. No, this is the D. This is the D. So 43D. So all 10 of those mercs are going to go in our book. CT Relic Digger. Outstanding, bud. I'm going to get those filled in here. Thanks, man. I, I, I hope you like the shirt. And I love this trade. I love making these trades. Anybody else that's interested, let me know. 
And if you are not subscribed to CT Relic Digger, go check him out. Great metal detecting, and the guy's great for the community. He does lots of collabs with people, and he's just an all-around great guy. So go check out CT Relic Digger. All right, that was a lot of fun. Now I also want to show you guys the change that we found recently. We've got four coppers that we found. Uh, well, we actually found five, but here's four of them. Uh, let's see, we got three from the 70s and one from the 80s. Nothing special, just the copper contents. We hung on to them. And we've got a $5 star note. I'll show you a little close up here. All right, here's that star note. Um, I actually got this from a co-worker. I have several people, well, we have we have lots of different family, we have co-workers, we have all kinds of people that are always looking for star notes and what have you for us. And a uh, guy named Luke at work brought this to me and said, hey, I got a $5 star note for you. You know, so I swapped him straight across uh, for face value. I looked it up and it's only, uh, it's not real rare. It had 3.2 million run size, so... But still, it's a star note, and uh, we're always happy to find them. And Mrs. CFA and CFA Jr. out of Coinstar found this, and I'll show you a close-up of that. It is a one cent from the Bahamas. Mrs. CFA thought these starfish here were just really cool. Matter of fact, I think that's the first Bahama coinage that we've ever found. Here's the obverse. Commonwealth of the Bahamas, 2015. So that was a very cool coin star find. And as I was going through our change that we've been saving up this week, and I was looking through it, and I found a slight grease error, strike-through error. I'll show you a closer look at that. So this is an 86D in fairly good shape. This and if you look at the reverse, up there, the S is barely there, especially the bottom part of it. Um, and it looks a lot to me like a slight grease or strike through error. Now, you can see scratches, so I got this closer look where you can see the scratches, but they're just below the S. If you look at the pluribus, it's all fully there. Uh, most of the E in states is there, and half the O and of is there. But most of the S at the end of states is, is gone. And I'm fairly certain that's a strike-through error. So that was kind of a neat find. All right, so there you have it. There's our big trade and our latest change finds. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. We appreciate it. And as always, keep checking that change. Look at that Merc book now. A lot better. And check this out. One of them was a 24S. 7.1 million mintage. That is a good one. Call that a semi-key date. Outstanding. Thank you, CT Relic Digger.